Isso que eu diria em vida. Não, 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 Excellent, excellent. That's what we like to see is the camaraderie is clearly there. You know, the fact that Declan Rice, who's been, you know, heralded as a, you know, a wonderful signing, cost a lot of money. Um, he's come in and he's been very humble to recognise that, you know what, I've got two gifts ahead of me in Partey and Jorginho, both who I can learn from. You know, it can, it can, it can become something really special because he does have... I mean, Jorginho has qualities that Rice doesn't and the same party has qualities that Rice doesn't. And when you consider his age with those older heads ahead of him, you know, that the, there's such a scope for him to become this like dominant midfield player for us going forward. Yeah, I do think we didn't really use a traditional eight today, did we? And, it's, and it worked, right? Because you have those two interchanging and rotating in that position. I don't think we need a traditional eight to play because Averitz to me is a hybrid. doesn't really fit any place. Um, he played better in the center forward today. I think he occupied the two center halves, which is good, to create more space and more opportunities for both Saka and for Martinelli. And I think we should think about that going forward. I think Georgina should get more playing time, actually. He's just yeah. a cool head in the midfield. Even though he's slow, he's such a cool head. He has to retain the ball really well. Sorry, Gary, go ahead. Yeah, no, that's that's a really good shot, Dan. Um, it, some say it's not it's not the speed that you run at; it's the speed of fault. And he's that guy's still got it in abundance. Yeah, and that, and that was clear to see today. He used the ball so well. His interceptions, he's hustling. You know, just in his own little sort of five to ten yard space. He didn't need to make lung busting runs to get back and tackle. He was always he puts himself in the right space, and that's something that you necessarily can't teach. Was he 31, 32? Yeah. Now I think he still can do another another season after this. Uh, but he's very could be a very important player for us going forward for the for this title running. And I, I agree hundred percent. Play them together because, like you said, they alternated in the six and the eight. Rice has got the legs. The other one's got the brain. It's a perfect partnership. Mm. If party's not going to be fit. So here's here's a question, and it's a it's, I guess it's kind of a dilemma that. Uh, Mikel Arteta has to face because you've got uh, a player in um, Thomas Partey whose fitness levels have dropped dramatically this season. You know, I keep talking to Alex at Cannon Fodder about the fact that last season, um, you know, Thomas Partey played 40 games, was it last season? He was in, I think he played something like 3,100 minutes um, you know, which I think only two Man City players played that many minutes uh, all season. Um, so last year, he was pretty reliable uh, through most of the season. <clears throat> now you have to consider, you've bought in Declan Rice, a £100 million player. And this season so far, he's looked an absolute dream. You know, he's coming and he's hit the ground running. Um, possibly one of the best games that we've had was the Charity Shield, Community Shield, sorry, where um, Rice was played alongside Thomas Partey. Um, and then you look at today's game and you see Rice alongside Jorginho. So the question I want to ask the two of you guys is, what what happens going forward? I mean, we, we appear to have three very good defenders, but only one of, one of which is a rock in terms of availability, which is Declan Rice. <clears throat> and obviously, age is on his side. Um, Jorginho, we know, is, is not the fastest. Party, on the other hand, has skills that neither of the other two has. How would you guys like to see our midfield grow in the next six months? Well, I personally think if party's fit, he's, he's an obvious starter. If he's fit to play and you can get a run of games out of him, he has to start. Because like you say, he does bring the transitional qualities from defence to attack like nobody else does. If he's not fit, then play, stick with what, what we've just seen. Stick, if Jorginho can't play you know, three games in a week, then you play him for the important games. And then 
you go with Havertz in, in, in the other two or the other one, whichever way you want to work it. But if he's not broke, don't fix it. So party comes in, he, he's got to start. Um, Rice has got the legs to help Jorginho out. And Jorginho playing a little bit further forward is not a bad thing because he's he can pick a pass. He's calm on the ball. It's a win-win, is it not? Yeah, look, I, I think what was interesting today people haven't talked about is the fact that um, Nada Kiwior or Zinchenko played inverted as much as they normally do. Good point. Right? You think about the game. They didn't play that inverted as much, and it worked. Because we had two six, basically, or six and a half and a six in that middle. You didn't need that inverted. And the question is, why would we go with that? I give my front four a little more leeway defensively because I have two people sitting. Right? So I have four defenders and two sitting midfielders. I think my, my, my forwards, including Odegaard, doesn't have to spend that much time coming back as much as they do when you play the inverted because the right side is wide open when you play the inverted. Right? So then you got to be scrambling the cover. So why would you do that? But go back to your question, Tony. I do think that we have to continue to start a score until the summer and figure out what we do after the summer, right? The next six months, the start a score, which is part is 38, Tony. You and I have talked about this. He's not, he's not 30. He's, he's 38. And you can't play 38 for 40 games, Tony. He's going to break down, Tony, okay? This is the African age. He's 38. He's 38 in, real, in Western age. In, in Africa, he's, he's 32. It's like six years. And it shows because he has groin muscle, you know, crap. Hamstring, you have those things start going. The muscles start getting, you know, more constricted when you get older. That's what's happening to Partey. But he's a brilliant footballer, and we need him on the field. And when he's back, we rotate him on Georgina. Yep. You know, City does that with their players. You look at how he plays De Bruyne, even when he's fit, or he plays some of the other midfield. Apart from Rodri, who's a beast and seems to play every game, he rotates the other midfielders, especially De Bruyne, who's always injured nowadays, by the way. People don't realize that the last few seasons. De Bruyne has to take time off because he's injured during the season. We need to do that with Partey because and he's a brilliant, brilliant player. And as Tony mentioned, which I didn't, I forgot about, we played City the Charity Sheet. We held our own, right? With their full team, we in the middle of the park. And apart from, center, apart from center forward spot, your core is your middle of the park. That sixth area is the is the key for your team. That's the link between your forward and your defense. That's the one's gonna block, you know. Going players going through your defense and going to start the play up, take the ball off your defense, your goalkeeper. So we need we, Glenn, look Glenn, Glenn Rice. I mean, talk about Glenn Rice. Most about Glenn Rice. Declan Rice is a brilliant. Is he proper? Isn't it? Glenn, Glenn Rice is a, is a ba former basketball player to play for Miami and play for Michigan. A lot of different. Things. He's also a very good soul singer. He is. Yeah, there's a very good soul singer by the name of Glenn Rice. Oh, I've got yeah, a couple of his albums. But Bertram knew, Bertram knew that secretly. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I'll go. I think Bertram makes two really good points there. Um, this inverted fullback, I, I've said before in in a couple of couple of uh, of our streams, more it's not needed. More well, than more than a couple. Couple it's, it's not needed all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's not something that you have to do all the time. You you have to do it horses for courses, you know. If it's needed, mm. do it. If it's not, just get your fullbacks to defend. Yeah. It's, it's, that, 